What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another review of the epic players that they've added today. So they've actually added a couple of new players in Fernando Torres. And I think with the last update, they had Carlos and Van der Vaart there. Van der Vaart's been there a while, but this Roberto Carlos is an absolute machine. We're going to go into him in a couple of minutes and we're going to take a really good recommended build guide at him as well. But I will be doing a dedicated training guide on Torres and Roberto Carlos because these are two very key players. This is one of the fastest versions of Torres that they have released acceleration wise. So usually with Torres... Other versions of him have been a little bit slower and they don't seem to be as rapid quick. Um, but this guy has got double touch, soul control. He's also got acrobatic finishing, first time shot. He does have scotch move, chip shot control and heading as well. Standard form, he's 20 years of age with this card, um, as you can see there. So he's kind of like the prime speedster Torres that you'll be able to get up into the 85 mark with you know speed, acceleration, finishing, um, ball control, dribbling, all of that because he's got 31 levels but i will do a dedicated training guide on torres right he is a beast but he is going to be compared against the other epics such as romario such as romanegi um which puts him into a different category compared to carlos who there is really nobody that compares to carlos because defensively he is a bit of a disaster you do need to pay attention to what carlos is doing on the pitch because he just goes attacking so much and we'll show you why in a second because of his defensive awareness and his defensive engagement being so much lower than his attacking awareness his offensive awareness and also because of that stamina he gets up and down the pitch as well it's just hard coded into him to be an absolute you know monster on the wing right but if you're not shooting with Carlos or swinging balls in, uh, you probably don't really need to use him. He's got outside curler, low lofted pass, pinpoint crossing, but he's also got long range curler, knuckle shot, rising shot and long range shooting as well as acrobatic finishing and first time shot with that outside curler and a really high base stat on the curl as well, um, as well as 90 kicking power. So this card actually is like... <laughs> it's kind of like prime Adriano. This is how Adriano was in Pez 6. You know, he had the speed, the acceleration, the balance, the kicking power, and the curl, as well as everything else with the strength, right? The one thing that kind of lets Carlos down is that ability that he doesn't really stay defensive. But this guy's got 32 levels to go, which I think is the highest one that they have released. Um, they did have an epic card as well that was 33, but this card is slightly better in pretty much every stat, which we'll get to have a look in in a sec, just instead of defensive awareness. He's got unwavering form as well. So he's a pretty interesting card to have. Uh, we'll do a training guide in a second on him. And we also have Van der Vaart. Van der Vaart is kind of the disappointing one of this pack. Um, obviously, Van der Vaart was a, a really good player. He's got unwavering form. All these players have B rating. Classic number 10 is a bit of a difficult play style to use. One touch pass, first time shot, true pass and way to pass, pinpoint cross and a no look cross. Um, no look um, pass. He's also got early crosser as well. So if you were going to be playing him on the right side, yeah, that's pretty decent. But I mean, look at the pace and the speed. I know it's not all about that, but you do need to have kind of across the board good stats if you are going to be playing a player starting in your starting 11 all the time yes you can bring on impact players yes there will be exceptions where you know in terms of me i prefer to use collar up front than somebody like mbappe because it suits my play style for certain uh, aspects of my game where i'm trying to do things but for all intents and purposes it is going to be hard to use van der Vaar for the average player right so we're actually going to go over to eFootball db and we're going to show you Roberto Carlos. We will do a specific training guide on Torres because he's a very interesting centre forward. But let's head over and have a look at this 97 rated Carlos. All right, so this is just a 96 rated ver version of Carlos, right? I think it's pretty decent. We will do a proper training guide on him because I will have a defensive and off and and an uh, and an offensive build of Carlos. There we go. Good lad. So 32 levels, 10 passing, 4 dribbling, 7 dexterity, 8 body strength, and 10 defending. That's going to give you a pretty decent all-rounder. You're still going to have that issue. The biggest issue with Carlos, I will cover this in the training guide as well, is going to be the discrepancy between the offensive awareness and the defensive awareness, right? Even if we were to take down the dexterity and take it down maybe to 4, and pop two more into that, we're still going to be defensively a little bit uh, lacking compared to the offensive awareness. So you actually actually have to go down the whole way um, to this if you want to go that route and take maybe one off the passing as well and go 13 on the defendant. But that's going to still only give you 74 defensive awareness with 73 uh, offensive awareness, right? But you're going to be not in the 90s with the acceleration or the balance. And I think that this card definitely does need balance because it's actually quite weak, right? So I would say that, you know, eight points into 
into that. You can get your aggression to about 80. Your tackling can go up as well. And then I just say, I mean, genuinely, man, I think you need to use Carlos's um, ability on the ball. I think that's probably the best way of using him, you know, is to use that dexterity, use that acceleration, use that offensive awareness. We will do, as I said, we will do a defensive build of Carlos, which is very decent as well, with some additional skills that we'll recommend for him in the training guide. But that is kind of a, a concern with that card because no matter what you do, if you take the offensive awareness, awareness down too low, you're going to lose that balance and acceleration stat, which is what is really powerful about this Roberto Carlos card. Because even at this, look, 80 aggression, 95 speed, acceleration, 90 balance and 92 stamina means that you can literally track, chase, man mark and manually defend pretty much for 90 minutes every single game. Right, Van der Vaart is kind of a player as well that falls through the cracks, right? We've just him roughly trained up here. Um, you can obviously get a higher overall if you want to pop on different traits and different cards here, depending on how you play him. I mean, he doesn't really need to be a shooter. If you want to go that route with him, there is a lot of stuff that you can add to the card if you want to make him a little bit higher overall. I mean, he doesn't need dexterity for one. You know, you can just max out his dribbling. You can max out his defending if you want to do that. You're still only going to have an issue with the defending. I would completely stay away from that but yeah i mean i don't even think there's worth a point doing a proper training guide on him i mean realistically if you're looking for a classic number 10 and you pop 12 into dribbling you should be able to get it into the 90s and he's just under that so i would be tempted to kind of leave that at 11 with the dribbling and then i would probably no matter what you do you're not going to get um the dexterity and the speed over you know 75 right so i don't think that that's really a concern for this card he's more of a kind of a sit back classic number 10 just sit in the pocket and just you know pick passes away and also be able to shoot with that finishing and of course depending on his curl and depending on his kicking power so he is kind of a bit of those one of those players that kind of falls through the cracks a little bit and not really somebody that i recommend especially if you have some player skills yes but long range shooting first time shot rising shot dipping shot are all nice but i mean how often do people shoot outside the box you know it's not as uh, usable nowadays I don't think especially with curl shots but look I will be back with a specific training guide on Fernando and we will do one on Roberto Carlos as well because I know a lot of people ask me about those we'll have a defensive and an offensive build for Roberto Carlos one of my favorite players in the game and we'll also have two versions of Torres that are going to be very interesting to go through as well so keep it locked we will be streaming later so hope to guys, hope to see you guys in the chat don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already we do this every day all day we have all the players done and we will be doing a roundup we'll be doing a weekly roundup we'll be doing a um, couple of videos as well on the rest of the players but yeah, that is pretty much it for me. I would say Carlos, Torres, yeah, they're both very interesting players. But Van der Vaart, I don't know if it's worth um, spinning, to be perfectly honest, unless you have your heart set on Roberto Carlos. I mean, I already have Carlos, and I don't think that Fernando Torres is going to be unique enough compared to Romario. But let's see. So don't forget to subscribe, lads. We'll be back later, and uh, I'll have the training guides up quite soon. Peace. Members get early access, obviously, as well to the, to the guides, so keep an eye out for them.